Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy and we're testing the new Cobra Pure Wedge. This is the King Pure. It's not spelt pure, as you and me would know it. They've done it in a funny way and I, I can only imagine that's something to do with some sort of copyright. But they spelt it P, U with a little dash above it, R. But the, apparently the pronunciation is Pure Wedge. And the reason why this is a Pure Wedge is that it has got no plating to it. It is a raw finish. Now typically wedges with raw finish go rusty. You see a lot of wedges that go rusty with a raw finish. This is rust resistant. So it'll be interesting to see if this ever does go rusty. The advantage of not being plated with chrome is that the grooves are actually a little bit deeper. Often with a raw wedge as well you get a slightly softer feel. So should we test it? I'm gonna, this is a 56 degree. It's the only wedge I've got. I'm gonna hit 100 yard shots. I'm gonna hit 50 yard shots on GC quad and let's see what the uh, numbers are coming out at. I also had the opportunity to test this on the golf course. Um, what I found on the golf course, it had a really soft feel. Not forged soft, but softer than a normal cast wedge. And it had high spin. I was finding that I was nipping them, but it was brand new, straight out of the box. So I was finding that I was getting really loads of nip when I flicked it off the surface, catching it and really zipping it back. So I, I liked it on the course test and I thought it was pretty awesome. I want to get some data off it now and get some numbers. Cosmetically, it is the purest wedge I've ever seen. That's not a spin on the, the wording. It is so pure. It is, it's like it's never, there's no colouring to it at all. It is just silver. It looks really smart. It doesn't stand out. It's not, it's not glary. It's just like plain. Plain and unfinished. Let's hit some shots. I love the look of it behind the ball. I think it's got a very classic spoon look. I've got this in the versatile setting, the versatile grind, so you can open it and close it at will. There's a normal grind and then there's a wide low grind as well, which is a much wider bottom in the golf club. And I've just got this in 10 degrees bounce. I do love the look of it behind the ball. I think it's a beautiful head shape. Let's go 100 yards. Oh, that felt awesome. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I felt great. Really good. High spin, great flight, soft feel, res like receptive feel. Uh, spin rate there at 11,850. I need clarification of that, but I think that might be the highest 100 yard spin shot we've seen. 11.8. That's huge. And that was really nice shot as well. Oh, it's just loaded full of spin. I've pushed it a little bit to the right. Probably not going to get the carry distance that time. I love the receptive feel off the face. Would I be able to tell much between this and a, and a normal Cobra wedge or a wedge? I'm not sure. I think psychologically, the raw um, finish on the face makes me feel like I'm going to get more grip. The face actually looks a little bit kind of, uh, what's the word? Uh, gritty, almost a bit like sandpaper really. Uh, that had 11,500 spin, which is super high. I love the quad because I can actually see the numbers down there on the, on the unit now as well. Let's go. One more from 100 yards. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that flight. 11,500. I mean, they're high spin numbers. They're super high spin numbers. If I just get the average of those three shots up, I say normally on a 100 yard shot, I'm kind of looking at around maybe 11,000, 10,000 and a half. That with the 56 there, I had 11,618. Blend that in with the feel that I was getting not only on the golf course, but even then on the full shots. And that is such a nice feel. It's a very just basic, classic looking wedge. It's not all singing, all dancing. It's actually quite uncobra like I kind of strike Cobra as being quite a colourful brand now, and this uh, this wedge doesn't seem to strike that same same look. Cobra for me is much more uh, colourful with their oranges and their uh, crazy colours and their crazy ideas with the R cost and things like that. This almost looks like they've just gone, you know what, we just need to make something a bit classic. And that's what it is. The Pure Wedge, Cobra King Pure, very nice. Okay, so 50 yard wedge shot. So I'm going to half the distance. 
I'm going to stick with the 56 because one, it's the only loft I've got. <laughs> well, it's the only option really. So I reckon, I mean, the good option with this, because it's versatile, I could add loft. I'm not going to do, I'm going to stick with 56 degrees. But I feel like I could almost open it up to probably nearer to 60. It's a 50 yard shot. It's a fraction thin, but should be on the money for distance. Yes, yeah, so that spun at nearly 6,000. Only carried 44 yards, if I'm honest. So a little bit short of my number. Uh, spun at 6,700. It was bottomed. It was thin. So always probably going to get a little bit more spin rate out of it. Typical look, looking for about 6,000 spin on a 50-yard shot. And I'm using Pro V1s as always. I'm actually rocking the quad today. Good for distance, but it might just be a touch heavy that time. Yeah, that only spun at 4,500. So you can see there the fluctuations. I would say more came down to the way I struck it. The first one I caught it a little bit thin. The second one I caught it a little bit heavy. So it's fluctuated a little bit in the spin numbers there. Give me an average of 5.6, but I feel like that's probably not true. Let's see if I can clip one away, actually strike one. Just come down the grip a little bit on this. better yeah much better much more reasonable kind of number there i mean that that was struck as nice i've struck any of the wedges there that's one at six thousand three uh, six thousand seven hundred high spin numbers and carried at 46 i'm going to go one more just because the first two were a bit dodgy let's go one more at 50 yards yeah just gripping down a little bit helps me control it down a little bit hit the flag oh. <laughs> uh, 6700 again that was a nice shot once I got used to just gripping down a little bit on it so carried them just under that 50 yard marker but on average of the four shots I hit granted I thinned the first one slightly I slightly fired the second one but the last two was as pure as they can be 6200 spin rate which is really high for a wedge at 50 yards I, I like this wedge a lot I like the idea that it's just a classic looking wedge it's not all singing, all dancing. I think they could have put a little injection of colour, even if it was just black or white or something. The fact that it's completely plain, I don't know, puts me off slightly. I'd like to see how well rust proof it is. Be interesting to see that over a test of time. If anyone's got a pure wedge, let us know what the rust facilities are like. Comment in the description below. Um, I like that. I think that's an, a good looking wedge. I think it performs exceptionally. I love the idea that it's giving you the raw material. Does it say anything on the band about it rusting? Sometimes it does, doesn't it? It doesn't. I like the fact that it's giving me a soft feel, a super high spin, and it looks the part. There's not a lot I can complain about it. But from just at the back, a bit of colour would have uh, really made that stand out a little bit nicer. Good wedge, Cobra King Pure Wedge. Um, I was looking, at, I'm sure there's been a pure wedge out before. Comment below, i.e. spelled P-U-R-E. Comment below, is, has there been a pure wedge out before? And that's why they've had to go P-U-R with a little dash above the U to get round that. Apparently that is still pronounced pure. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. That's the big red button down there. Comment, like the video. We'll see you next time. That was the Cobra King Pure Wedge. Pure Wedge. Thanks for watching. <laughs>